this video I'm going to talk through a guitar tricks versus musician comparison that I wrote up a while ago and it's been up for a little while but we just updated it so I figured it would be a good time to go ahead and talk through the comparison and if you aren't familiar we give these programs a rating and you can check for full reviews of both programs which I have linked to in the video description below you can also check for links to trials for each program you can check those out we partner with guitar tricks we do not partner with musician just for the sake of transparency uh, that guitar tricks link there is a um, uh, a link that helps support our channel and support guitar chalk doesn't cost you anything extra so check it out that helps us out uh, greatly uh, the musician link is just a link to musician um, we don't really recommend them we don't so we don't partner with them um, but it's there if you want to check it out and what I'm going to do is just talk through the uh, differences between the programs. Um, you know, we like Guitar Tricks a little bit better, I'll say that up front. Uh, and I'm going to go through the reasoning why we kind of have these tables that are uh, just put uh, Guitar Tricks and Musician side by side. So let's just start talking through it. Okay, so the, um, the basics of each program we have listed here, uh, this is a membership number as of 2018. Uh, that's certainly gonna be a little bit different now, and I don't think Guitar Tricks is, they're in the three million range still. Uh, Musician doesn't publish that information, so we don't really know, uh, not a huge deal, but uh, I actually reached out to them uh, maybe a year or two ago, and they, uh, responded uh, they responded to the email but they weren't willing to tell me how many members they have and I'm not really sure why uh, it's just it's just sometimes helpful to know you know how pop popular a program is and I think musician is fairly popular but they wouldn't give me that information so anyway uh, free trial period you get 14 days with the guitar tricks uh, seven days with musician last I check now that that changes sometimes uh, I think that musicians still only does the seven day free trial um, but don't quote me on that hundred percent because that can change a lot like jam play has changed theirs um, they actually have two free trials now um, they'll, they'll change the length and sometimes will change the circumstances uh, surrounding you know like whether they require credit cards stuff like that but the last time I checked it's seven days total number of lessons 11,000 is where guitar tricks is roughly at they probably closer to 12,000 now they add stuff a lot um, again musician doesn't really make it easy to determine that information but they have a lot of lessons too and I don't think it's anywhere near 10,000 I think they're um, much lower probably in the four figures maybe two or three thousand lessons total and again that depends on uh, well I didn't mention this yet it depends on whether the type of membership you have and we'll get to a little bit of that later um, so styles and genres uh, guitar tricks explicitly covers 12 uh, 12 styles uh, of music and musician is they don't really classify the styles of music but they actually teach multiple instruments um, which isn't really great if you want to focus just on guitar um, but that's how they break that up um, instructors uh, guitar tricks has about 20 uh, maybe five or six of them are really active and musician does not use instructors they are a, um, a web app they're a mobile app that listens to your uh, playing and kind of analyzes it so you're not getting an instructor interaction there uh, monthly price $20 uh, for guitar tricks without any promotional offers musician is going to be 30 for the premium membership and I think it is 20 for a basic membership um, yearly price for guitar tricks is $180 without any kind of discount um, sometimes they drop that to $99 and musician is $180 for the premium account it is going to be a little bit cheaper around 120 for the basic account uh, and again we'll get into the differences of those later there's the home pages for each one that's um, those should be current uh, I think guitar tricks actually just changed there so that's the new home page uh, but they've got a much sleeker design now and same thing with musician they've always had a pretty good design so in this section let's look at the skill level uh, depth and challenge which is just kind of where they uh, how they perform in terms of ser serving particular skill levels so beginner lessons both do a pretty good job musician is uh, maybe not quite as strong as guitar tricks there guitar tricks is just kind of the standard when it comes to beginner uh, guitar lessons they've always done a really good job with that particular um, uh, that particular range of skill um, and, and the problem with musician is that it does get a little bit weaker as you go into the uh, more difficult topics so um, intermediate advanced uh, those are both going to be a little bit better in guitar tricks uh, even though you know we, guitar tricks isn't necessarily like 
the, the greatest when it comes to advanced material. They're still a little bit better than musician. And then topical order is just sort of how they, um, you know, kind of how they organize material and how, if it makes sense, based on skill level. So there should be a progression of skill. There should be a progression of difficulty. And Guitar Tricks does a far, 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 far better job than musician. Their musician, uh, they, they do make an effort to kind of make that make sense and organize that really well by skill but there are some pretty big holes in there and if you read the review uh our full musician review which like i said is linked in the description i, I get into that in a little more detail so here you can see some of the structure um the uh, musician over here has a lead guitar path uh and, and it's just kind of you're going to find yourself not really sure where to go um whereas in guitar tricks it's it's just a little bit more clear uh, so let's go down here and look at structure and kind of user experience, web design. Um, the home page for both are pretty good. The user dashboard uh, and course navigation and then interior course navigation. Like I said, that's that gets a little bit just kind of weird in musician. Like I don't, a lot of times you don't really know where you're supposed to go or what you're doing. Um, it, it's just a little bit off and kind of the same thing with the main menu. Um, Guitar Trick is just a lot better with all that stuff. Uh, modern aesthetic, both are pretty good. Both have updated designs. Uh, and you can see here is a little bit more, um, actually this is, this is gonna go down to the video quality and the player features. So the, the, this section, is supposed to kind of compare just the video player of two programs, but like I said before, uh, Musician is an app. It's not it's not like a lesson series or a course, um, so they don't have a video player. But what we did was we compared the uh, the app interface, this main interface here that you see, to the video player in Guitar Tricks. Um, so but, uh, Musician, you can speed up or slow down, which is nice. Guitar Tricks doesn't have that. Um, they both have HD options, which is, you know, technically not, it's just the high resolution in the app and musician is not technically a video. Um, section looping, you can do on both. Full screen quality is good for both. Um, the back end server probably doesn't matter to a lot of people, uh, but it, it just kind of speaks to the reliability of, of the content that you're hosting. So um, uh, Guitar Trick uses Wistia, and I, I don't know that. Um, uh, musician, I'm not sure what they're using for their backend to serve the uh, the code for their app. It doesn't really matter as much because again, you're not looking at a video, um, but that's just something to note there. Uh, particularly if you're looking at Guitar Tricks, they are, all their videos are going to be kind of pushed out by Wistia, which is a pretty reliable. It's a little bit nicer than YouTube. Um, it's like a nice little upgrade there that you uh, you know make you feel a little bit better about paying for a membership. Um, social features a little bit better in Musician, and that's you know pretty much pretty much all there is in regards to the to comparing those two you can't compare a lot more just because like i said they're not both video players you're comparing an app to a video screen and it just you know it kind of works but that's pretty much all you can do there so supplemental material uh that's going to be um kind of anything uh that's written or um uh audio or like a like some kind of picture or a graphic of some kind uh, and this is this is again pretty much uh, Guitar Tricks owns all of these uh, grading categories like tabs and notation. I mean, Musician Musician doesn't like their 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 app is tablature and notation. So so that we're not considering that supplemental material. I guess you could grade them here and say that they you know the app does provide that but that's kind of all it is um so chord diagrams musician does not do audio files they do not provide um and structure interaction i gave them a, a little bit of a grade here um just because the app does kind of interact with you um but obviously that's going to be better in guitar tricks they have forums where you can actually talk to the instructors uh guitar profiles uh just something that we see sometimes like jam play does those but neither of these programs have any kind of guitar profiles or downloads um printing option uh, i don't believe you you can do any of that in Musician, um, and that is enabled in most uh, Guitar Tricks uh, programs. So you can see here, um, let's see, I'll go back up here. Well, I didn't have a picture for that. Uh, all right, let's go to the song listen section. So both, um, and actually this needs updated here. Uh, I just did not catch that. Uh, Guitar Tricks has, there are over a thousand song lessons now, and they add these a lot. So I actually, 
bet they're probably closer to 12, maybe 11 or 1200. They, they add them all the time. Um, as long as they can get them licensed, they add them. So uh, musician, like I said, you can, you can use musician to learn popular songs. Um, but they don't, I don't know how many that, that didn't seem readily available. And, uh, you do have to pay for the premium membership, which is the more expensive membership. So like if you go on and you buy a basic, uh, what is it? $20 a month membership, you're not going to get these songs. You have to buy the premium membership, which is another upgrade then to the $30 a month plan. And I really didn't like that. really wasn't crazy about that. Guitar Tricks just has one price and they give you everything for that price, which is, in my opinion, a lot, just a much better way to do business, but you know, whatever. So it, once you do get into the songs for either program, um, song coverage, uh, guitar trick is a little bit better. I think they do a better job. Of, like I said, you have someone explaining it in a video. So that's going to be better than kind of just trying to decipher it from the musician interface. Uh, same thing with navigating to different songs. It's better in guitar tricks instructors. Um, obviously uh, guitar tricks has instructors, musician doesn't. So they get a better grade there. Easy song versions, both programs have that. Um, and they're, they're, it's just kind of a wash there. They're both pretty similar. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, the, the, my conclusion, if you're sort of trying to decide between the two of those, uh, is that Guitar Tricks is just much better than Musician in terms of content quality, in terms of educational value, and particularly in the thoroughness of covering concepts. So, it, you know, if you like the app interface that you get, like the video game type appeal of Musician, like it does do a really good job of listening to your playing and kind of picking out where you're missing notes, uh, and it can kind of help you out there. Um, but I, I view it more as like a practice tool, more so than like a complete kind of immersive course that will teach you. Uh, so that's my comparison. Hopefully it is helpful to you. If it is, hit the like and the subscribe button. And like I said, check out the links in the video description below and we will see you next time.